Hello good people on the internet. So a month ago I've made a video about ray trace shadows in World of Warcraft and it's received a lot of attention but it also raised a lot of questions. Now this video is made to go over all the aspects of ray tracing in World of Warcraft. Do keep in mind this is recorded on the PTR and can still be subject to change. Now to sum up what you will see here, does fire cast shadows like you see in this picture, clips up close of a character, on and off clips, now changing scenery in certain areas, and how much does it affect your system when ray tracing is on or when it is turned off. Now do keep in mind, these are only ray trace shadows and it won't have the same effect as something like this. Now without further ado, let's get right into the video. Now what better way to start a video than in Dalaran, our favorite place to run circles. Now currently ray tracing is turned off and this is what the face of my character looks like. You don't see any shadows falling down and to clarify, the sun over here is the only thing that is emitting rays of light so it will be the only thing that will cause shadows on my character. Now let's compare that to when ray tracing is turned on. As you can see, the character on the left side of the screen has shadows falling on his face due to the sun emitting light and to the hood blocking the sun and casting a shadow on the face. Now over here we have our ogre sitting at a fire enjoying his nice meal. Now currently ray tracing is turned off and if you can still remember from my intro this scene should change if I enable ray tracing. So let's see what happens when I enable ray tracing. Ray tracing is now turned on and to my surprise it's not casting a shadow. So I don't know what went wrong there because there is absolutely no change. Oh, it's getting angry. Stop attacking me. Sit. Goodbye. So, yeah. No change. What on earth? Stop attacking me, you selfish expert. So, also if you saw like the rocks they were also casting shadows because of the fire. But over here, I see absolutely nothing, nothing changed. So let's try it on and off again. It is currently turned off and I am going to turn it back on now. It is now turned on and no change. So from my end, let's bust it. Let's go on to the next scene. Hey. If you're still watching, can you do me a favor? Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Now, I've included this part because people do always keep asking, but what about reflections? Well, like I said, these are ray trace shadows and re reflections are unaffected. Let me show you. Now, ray tracing is currently turned off and I'm gonna turn it back on now. Now, ray tracing is turned on and you cannot see any difference. Now the only thing that affects the water are these settings. Liquid detail. If I change these, you can see the water changing. Now let's go on to the next scene. And so for this next clip, I've set up a pretty close view of the sails and the ropes and the swinging ropes and my character and ray tracing is now currently turned off and I'm going to turn it back on and just let me show you what kind of hit the performance takes of your PC. Now ray tracing is currently turned on and the performance bump is quite big. Now, 
if that's worth it to you, that's up to you. Let me just turn around and I mean, you can see it bouncing up and down a little, but overall you can feel some stutter in your screen. Things do look nice. I, I honestly, I do like the system. At first I was a little bit skeptical, but some parts do really improve. Especially your character, if like if you wear like this wizard's hat or something like that, that looks really good. Also, you can see just just more natural shadows, just looks better. But the performance hit, well, it's definitely there. Just let me turn it off so you can see it. So now it is turned off, and I can tell you that much, it's significantly smoother. So let's go on to the next clip. Now. This clip will be the last clip, and it will be a close-up clip. I'm currently in Najatar, and the shadow you see over here is this pole. It's closer to me, and the line you see over here are the rocks above. Now, if I turn it on, this will become more blurry than this, because this is closer to me, and this is further away. So, let me turn it on. Let me show you what it looks like. I mean, that, let's be honest, that is pretty cool. <laughs> this is just a big hit of performance. Thanks everyone for watching the video. It's been a truly amazing experience starting my YouTube career with you guys and interacting with you guys. It, it's a lot of fun. So if you do like this video, then please consider subscribing to my channel and giving it a like. And I shall see you in my next video. Goodbye, guys. Hold me close till I get up. Time